What's good? Um, I came by here yesterday and uh, this gate thing over there was open. So I wanted to go down and see some graffiti. So I'm gonna check to see if it's open today. I'm out here in Brooklyn. Um, BQE's right there. BQE's right over there. Traffic, early morning. So let's see what's up. a lock on there but I don't think it's open. Let's see. This thing is on. Freeze that up. There's all kinds of garbage and whatnot. But over here there's like a little railing. And you look over the edge. Bam. Nice view. Feeding on this crates down there. Let's see what's going on with the crates. Man. Those pieces. Someone said there was a Revs piece, a roller, got covered up. You guys can see that. Alright, yeah, the last safe. Brooklyn, baby. Down there. Some tracks and stuff. Let's see what's up. You think I can do it? I don't want to get hurt. So yeah, man, I like exploring spaces and stuff. There goes the gate up there. I don't know if you can see that. And got the train tunnel, got the freights, got all the graffiti, the freight trains back there. Little adventures in Brooklyn. Let's see what kind of goodies we find on the floor here. Got some Red Bulls. Some other random garbage. I found way worse in other places I was exploring. So this is not so bad. Let me climb up back this hill. Like I said I got some beat up Air Force Ones on. Not the best. Let's see if I make it up this hill without falling. <laughs> i 
the morning here. Sun is shining bright. get myself out of here before I get uh, in trouble or something. I don't know, there's no no signs that say no trespassing, so I think I'm good, but just in case, one last look at the graffiti. It's the BQE, train tracks, little spot I went down, excursion. Hope you guys have a good day. <laughs> That's the end of my urban exploring here. Be good, peace. All right, so I'm looking for some more graffiti out here. This is an interesting little spot because this is where there's some parking spaces and we got this little wall here that's all tagged up with just like some throw ups and stuff. But it's interesting because there's like a really cool piece around here. So I don't know why they didn't hit this spot a little more, but I'll show you the throw ups and then I'll show you like the nice piece around the corner. So I didn't have to, uh, I didn't have to travel or do anything crazy, get through, jump through any gates or anything to see this. This is all right along a walkway here, a path. So it's, it's pretty open. Thank goodness I don't want to, you know, <laughs> get jammed up. But again, it's a really dope piece of dope wall here on the pathway. Hope you guys are doing good. Have a good day. It's the top of the morning. Take it easy. Peace. All right, what's going on, y'all? Uh, I was driving by over here and I saw a dope wall I'm back in Sunset Park, Brooklyn. Uh, I'm trying to find a way, best way to go and take a picture of this wall. So I'm going to show you what I'm dealing with over here and then we'll see if I can get a picture. Kind of narrow over here, but we'll see if I can sidestep it. Might not be possible. <laughs> Here. Right by the highway. 
snow. Let's see what we're looking at over here. pieces back that nice big wall just had to take a little detour to get it things you go through to get good footage <laughs> all right it's a small one nothing crazy today okay. got this dude i forgot the name of the thing that that's from i don't know if it's an invasion from mars or something like that details yeah. Uh, now, this one's got a really cool, cool texture to it. Look at that. Look in there with the bubbles. Out of space steam. Plan. Now, we got Marvin the Marshall. So yeah, I'm over here by the BQE. I have to slip behind this fence. I don't know if you can see it. I might have to go back through there. There goes the whole wall. Let's see if I can go ahead and get a better view. Dope, dope, dope. Do it again. These leaves are kind of deep. My Timberlands are 100% stuffed up after this. See how I squeeze in there? Oh, oh, oh. All right, but I made it. Dope. So that was a short little journey to get to that little spot back there. But I'm glad I did it, got some good footage. I'm gonna catch y'all later. Stay safe in the snow, you know what I'm saying? And be careful on the roads. What's going on, y'all? So I'm walking around in Sunset Park, close to the Chinatown area. And uh, I was walking to get some lunch, but I noticed over here, just over uh, this parking area, while I was walking, there seems to be some graffiti over there on the other side of that, uh, quite a bit of it. So I haven't looked at it yet. You guys are gonna discover it with me. Let's peek through the fence and see what we see. Okay. Oh man, I just hit my head against some barbed wire. That's not cool. Um, oh, there's a lot down there. Let's see if I get a better view. So there's quite a bit up here. There's a lot down there. I wonder if there's an open way to get in. I gotta look around and check. It's kinda dope. Let me see if I get a better view. Damn, man, I climbed up this fence thing. Not easy, but just so I can get over, take some pictures. So I'm gonna show y'all in a second. It's not too much. It's gonna be a short video, but still a cool view. Right. Yeah, these dudes was 
climbing on there to get up there. So I'm a little shaky, I'm holding myself up. Check that out. Is this a little sun? That pillar is blocking a little bit of a piece, but kind of get to see what they got up here. All right, y'all, I gotta figure out a way to get down from here. So I'm gonna catch y'all later. Let me get my lunch. And there's barbed wire right there. All right, get out of here. <laughs> All right, so I crossed the street um, by the 8th Avenue station over here, the end train. And on the overpass here, it's a little easier to see. You don't have to climb uh, around no barbed wire over here. Just a couple of pieces of uh, some throw pieces and things and on the overpass, but what you will notice is that dudes had to really climb to get up there. So let's check it out. Let me see if I can actually stand back and get a better view. Zoom in over there. Got some stuff that goes all the way down. Got a little bit of pieces there. And then we got what's down there. Now we were able to see some of that from the other spot. Um, it's still connected to some of the places that I went to before, but this is further down the line. Alright. So that's it. All right, so the last thing I'm gonna show y'all from over here, I don't know if you can really call it graffiti more than just a mural. Um, I watched when this thing was being created, basically on the right aid over here, they have a mural that is dedicated to Brooklyn. So it's got like the Barclay Center on it, Coney Island, all kinds of cool stuff. It's done extremely well. So I'm gonna pull up on it so you guys can check it out. Check that out. So you got the Barclay Center. Now I think it's King B. KingB.com. These are people that did this. Let's check that out. They got the nets. Oh man, jamming. <laughs> they got the water towers. I think that water tower is down by uh, the Brooklyn Bridge. Got the brownstones. You know what I'm saying? My man's got all these geometric shapes, bright colors. Um, we're gonna cut the corner. Boom. You got the bridge. And then you go to Astra Land. And the cyclone, that's from Coney Island. Check that out. Got the roller coaster. And then my man put up his own thing. The Royal King Bee Living Colors. 
Joe King B promoting himself. So obviously this is a legal wall. I just want to show you the level of the detail. When you pull up. I mean, he did this super sharp. Even down to the wrinkles in the rhino's face. Check that out. So definitely a cool one to check out. Let's see a backup on it so you get a better view. Dope. All right, so that's it for today, folks. Uh, I'll catch y'all another time. Like to balance out the bubble letters with something a little more intricate. Uh, we'll see where my next adventure leads me. Catch y'all later. Be good. Hope everybody is happy and healthy. Peace. What's going on, y'all? I'm by the BQE again. I'm going to try to revisit a spot that I visited before. Um, but I'm going to get on a different side where they got the freight trains. Hopefully get up a little closer to some pieces. Um, I think I spotted an opening over here in the fence. So we'll see if I can uh, make it happen. All right, I'm gonna catch y'all in a second. Looks like there'll be a lot of people over here already. tricky because everything's kind of icy right now. You can see some of the graph pieces there. Thorns, mad thorns. All right. It's a little bit of a steep drop there, so I don't think I'm gonna get down from this spot. This is all ice, man. <laughs> See if I go back up, find a better spot to come down. It's a trap piece right there. Tim's has been through hell trying to get some footage. All right, let's see. back there.
still not a better spot for me to get down. Let's see what I can do. I just made it down. I'm gonna get some footage and then get up out of here. Well, maybe I can make it. Maybe not. Freight line, so I don't have to worry about the rail, nothing like that. Let's get some up close footage. There's a lot of old pieces down here, a lot, a lot of old pieces. Cool. My Timberlands are jacked up. <laughs> they all look crazy down there. Look like mad people live down there. Like I've overstayed my welcome here a little bit. You know what I'm saying? I've seen some people and stuff, so I'm gonna get myself up out of here. Turn it around in a second. No, I keep saying that. Okay. All right. Looks like the next segment here. It's kind of far. So I won't go that distance. All right, man. So I'm walking along freight tracks stay close to the wall hopefully I don't get spotted nothing like that 
but it is definitely my time to get out of here. This is a dope spot, man. Crazy, look at that. So we got that trap piece back there. I'm gonna get up a lot. Big physical pieces between the freights. I'm gonna catch y'all later. I'm gonna try to get up out of here stealthily. Hang it up this hill. Let's see if I find that opening again. Get up out of here. The man caught the joke. Get one last shot where I was. So I made it up this hill. Things behind me, I'm about to get up out of this highway. My Tim's are gonna destroy them. Look at that. Man, I'm gonna have to clean them when I get into this. I'm gonna have to clean them when I get to where I'm going. Remember in the other video where I came to this spot. 
this was over. Now, we got hit. So that's my excursion for the day, my adventure. My day is just starting. I woke up like this. <laughs> I'm gonna catch y'all later. Hope you have a good day. Stay safe and peace. What's going on, y'all? So I'm actually revisiting a spot that's connected to a place that I came twice before, but this place is so big that there's a bunch of angles and sides that I can't capture in one shoot. So I'm gonna see if I can uh, capture some more footage. See the throw ups, bubble letters, whatever. So come along with me. So you got the freights and stuff over there. Boom. Here come the train. This goes on. see what's what mad thorn bushes <laughs> I should have worn my boots today all I got on is my sneakers this is a little thick down here let's see what's what See, this is tagged up too. So is that up there? Let's keep checking. So maybe they got some new freights here today. I can get a picture of. Let me see what's up. Nothing much on those. It's a little tagged up. Let me keep moving down because I don't see much over here. So there's a leftover spray can right there, so you know people down here. Doing their thing. Let's check that out. Thames. Wish I could get a better shot of the freights back there, but that's on the other side. I caught some of that last time. Over. Let 
mad garbage, yo. So I might be able to get a decent shot over here. Let's check it out. So you got them freights tagged up. It's tagged up up there too. Fences. I got all that. Let's keep checking. Crazy down here. All that's tagged up. Then you got the freights again. Oh, it's all like oil or something down here. Dope. Here, I'm gonna wait. Some steps to come down this way. This is all crazy under here. All right, so this spot, I constantly see when I'm walking by on the highway. Right there, you got this wall that's tagged up. All right. All right, so we got that wall. Let's keep moving. There's some steps over there. Let's take it real nice and easy. This is where years of walking on dirt hills in Puerto Rico come in handy. Oh, but we got some, we got some pieces there. Let's see if I get to zoom in on that. Bam, so this song, um, that's the tunnel going underground. Some people tag that up right there. Let's keep checking. crazy it's most deaf probably some people living down here so you got bam dope mega mega got mad mad joints over here Let's see what's good with his piece here. This is that mega joint. Mad liquor bottles. Some people tie that up there too. There. Whew. That was definitely covered in rust. Put a 
package of these freights and then I'm gonna get up out of here. Man, we got another revs here. Wave. This is where the train comes into the tunnel. Dope. Alright, so we got mad pieces here. That's fly. Check that out. Dope. This is so dope. came into the heart of this spot. Check that out. Damn. So dope. pieces tagged up here boom caught all that caught that joint let's catch it from a distance so you can see all that flash is there too homie be getting around a lot except check out these pieces so you got all this too oh man it looks like this is a real old school piece here 1999 that should have still standing back and get that one in a second. I just want to back up off of these and catch that too. So we got RT, Taze. Catch those freights, and then I'm gonna start getting stepping because I am definitely pushing my luck here. So, you got this piece here, 
scope. Got a little old school as hell. Now there was something that was tagged up over here. That thing inside is. And then there's a piece up here. Check it out. I wonder if I could get up to get a better view. Just can't really see. Oh, there's the Cheech. They got the Cheech Wizard on it. Man, and I can't get up. I'm not about to climb that though. ladder there but that's kind of hard for me to get onto let me see <sighs> all right that's better it's got the cheats on it bam all right got one got that going you got two and you got three now it's time for me to make my exit out of here. I think I caught enough for today. Whew. All right, I think I got some really good pieces today. I'm happy I went further into the same spot and explored some more. But it's time for me to make my departure. Somebody chilling here. They got their things. Ooh, that was not good. Damn, man, shit went into my sneaker. I'll take care of that when I get out. All right, so this is like maybe one of the dirtiest spots had to come to Again, this was the spot I was at before. You guys catch it on, I think it's like four or five, episode four or five. All right, y'all. So I'm gonna get up this little hill, get up out of here, and say peace. Hope you're having a good day. 
Hope uh, you put some smiles on your faces and you healthy. Have a good one. What's going on, y'all? So we over here in Sunset Park, down by Third Avenue near this area that I used to live. And back in the day, they had this place that was a little tagged up, but nothing serious. But now, um, now they got it like one of the spots has been hit up a lot. So let's go in and check it. Here, got some throwaways on the on this piece. So we got some rollers up there. Those bugs me out how they get to the top of them joints. Rollers up that way. Entrance way over here is kind of tagged up. Tag here. Then we got this joint. This is sort of tagged up too.
spots with these kind of clusters are always real dope. These joints probably got some age on them. tagged up in here I'm probably not gonna go too far with this subway lines are so I'm probably gonna keep it real stealthy I'm here to take pictures Southeast on 38th Street toward 5th Avenue. Like I said, I used to live not far from here, and I used to always see this spot, but I never really stopped to get any really, really good shots. I had like some old ones, some one or two pieces over there. It wasn't nothing crazy, but I'm gonna put a still on that spot over by the train area, just so you guys can see a little more of the pieces. Let me get one or two things around the periphery of here. All right.
going on, y'all? Uh, we back in East New York over here. Getting a lot of mileage out of this area. We're gonna take a look at a couple of bubble letters. Nothing too crazy on the street level, but I spotted while hanging out around the area. So let's take a look. I see another trap piece down this way. One boy be getting around here all the time. He's got two of them over here. Man, this might end up being the trap show. <laughs> All right, we're gonna keep moving this way. Now, this is just a warm up. You know what I mean? Just a warm up. So, boom. There's one there. Keep moving. Oh. Yeah, some other stuff. Epic. All right. I wish I could find a way to get in here. I ain't got that kind of time today, though. You know what I'm saying? So it's not a. It's not conducive to my schedule today. All right, so we started off with a warm up of these bubble letters and pieces and stuff, but I'm gonna walk y'all over to where they kind of got the wild style pieces on the other walls over here. So let's take a quick walk. Bam. So starting with this one, we got Clan of the Dragon Fist. It's dope, this piece been up for a minute. Let's start with this piece here. So boom. Yeah, this one's kind of cool, you know, crazy. Like it. We're walking over towards this deli. We got some pieces here too. Exactly the most friendliest spot, so I gotta keep on uh, on guard. We pretty close to some other places I visited. Bam, check that out. That's some fly pieces there. All right, so let's travel around because I was going over this way the other day. And I spotted. So, so the L I R R East New York stop. So, got this joint. The Ernest. Which is cool. Looks like they're promoting for some clothing. East New York, Flatbush, Best Style, Brownsville, Crown Heights. I like the mixture of styles. It's kind of fly. All right. All right, let's keep exploring a little bit. Here we go with that flash piece again. Oh. 
Somebody burning over here. Smothered. This is really dope. Still in the same area, a couple of blocks away. Let's see. All right, let's check this out real quick. That's dope. That's an interesting style. Never seen that either. Staggered letters. This one is bugged out. This is trippy. Trippy, real trippy. Look at that. Dope. All right, so I pulled off to another spot. I'm gonna give you all the warm up, warm up before I give you the, the wild style pieces and all that on the wall. Um, so I'm gonna give you the bubble letters and whatnot that's over here. Still nearby where I was before, but just like a couple of blocks away. Let's check it out. So ain't nothing too crazy. A couple of pieces you might recognize, tags you might recognize. This dude flash be getting up a lot over here. Like a lot, a lot. So it goes all the way down that way. Boom. Going crazy. Alright, so you guys ready for the main course? Check this out. Bam. Check that out. Dope. Dope, dope, dope. I love the color combination on this one. R-E-E. -E. It's got like an old school flavor to it, but it's got this dope neon glow. Loving it. Loving it. Let's check this one out. I've seen that RNS joint before. Nice. This is fly here too. Dope. Look at that. That's an interesting piece. I, I haven't really seen anybody do sort of that style before. And then this one, the bananas. Check that out. Dope. Some of them a little simpler. Not too crazy. Some of them are dope. Charming. Damn it. I like this piece here. That's fly too. All right. We'll catch y'all in a minute. We'll step back and take some pictures. Plus, I put my car in the spot. It probably shouldn't really be here. So, let me get a move on. Nice. Step away from that. It's a little bugged out. You hit the front too or no? Nah, not really. All right, put your man Gold on there too. That dude be getting up everywhere. Everywhere. It's just kind of tagged up in the back. All right. All right, y'all. So I think it was a worthwhile hunt today. Didn't have to hop anything, do nothing crazy. I believe these are legal walls, but I'm not sure. So I'm going to catch y'all next time. I'm here to move my car before I get a ticket. <laughs> y'all be cool. Peace. So there's a train yard down there. It's no longer functional. I went there for a photo shoot. During the summer, they had some of the coolest graffiti. There's some of the most graffiti today. Check it out. In Brooklyn. Sketchy. Usually when I come down here there's a lot of a lot of folks with carts and stuff. I'm a little, a little what 
ever down this way. Frosty, grimy, <laughs> real uh, What's the word? Gritty. Gritty parts of Brooklyn. All wire. Metal. Everywhere. Let's see if I'll be able to make it in here. I see some construction vehicles. If anybody's working or whatever, I'm not going in. I'm already a little nervous being around here, you know what I'm saying? I made it in one time. It doesn't guarantee I'm gonna make it in another. And even if I do, it's quite possible there's people down there. And if there are, I might just hide till it out. <laughs> Cause I like my life. You know what I'm saying? try to be in and out of here as quick as possible because the sun's going down and I am not trying to get stuck in a place where people can't see nor hear me you know what I'm saying so let's see what's good around here looks like they cleaned up quite a bit but this is a decommission I don't know if it's a train yard or along on the railroad we used to come through here or what and whatnot like that right over there we're gonna do a close-up on that piece we gotta get down first though so let's see what's happening crazy all these pieces there definitely be people back here This wall. This look kind of dope. The good thing about these train tracks here is I don't have to worry about the third rail. Let's made a slip. Boom. Dopeness. Dopeness. Get up out this spot here. Cause this is looking a little crazy. Let's see where I can go. It's not too visible. <laughs> All right. 
So, doing okay so far. I'll show you guys what this looks like while I'm walking up this way. almost there like I said I'm gonna get some pictures I'm gonna get in and out as soon as I get over here get some dope photos and stuff and then be out of here <laughs> last time I was down here with some photos up on this platform in the tunnels. Not sure I'm filling up to the tunnels today, but we'll see what happens. Lots of wind. Look at these pieces. Flat-ish. peak. Let's see if there's any spot to get down. It's not too crazy. This is all looking kind of steep. Uh, Alright. All right, so I made it down. Again, we'll be in and out. Let's see these two ones in. Too far. this tunnel you can see behind me I ain't going that way it's kind of stuff horror movies are made of but we got graffiti everywhere subterranean Brooklyn you know what I'm saying check all that out back there look at that illness we in the depths <laughs> let me get out of here you know what I'm saying tire here that I can kind of use some leverage to get up. Hopefully it don't collapse on the Love it. 
cloudy sky. <laughs> All kinds of craziness, man. Hopefully, I find something along the way. Need some more leverage to get up so that I don't. out of here be a success you know what I'm saying dope pieces you know I had a design professor in college he I was obsessed with graffiti at that point he used to say man that's not real art hold up hold up my homie who that curve yeah I'm gonna send you a picture of this man Same way, my, my design professor was like, graffiti's not real art. I don't care what kind of German magazines try to make it look glossy and blah, 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 blah. And he's just dogging. And he knew I was all hip hop, all graffiti at that time. So I think he was just taking personal jabs at me. But years later, laughs, laughs on him, jokes on him. Graffiti is now coveted street art, whatever they call it now. You know what I'm saying? And, and commanding high prices and galleries and everybody wants it, man. Can't deny it. It's people beautifying these crazy, ugly looking spaces, man. Look at this. What else would be here? Rhyme, you know what I'm saying? Dirt. Give the people something to look at. Give the, give the kids something to do. I heard, you know, in other cities, they give spaces, so they don't even really mess with it. They go on the graffiti because it brings beauty to the neighborhood. Pardon me, I'm yip yapping. It's time for me to get out of here. I'm taking this long walk. Thank God I had to do nothing too crazy to get in this space. You know what I'm saying? Let's get a couple of photographs. Look at that. Look at that right there, man. That's my art gallery. You know what I'm saying? Skip a museum. We going over here to see the art. You can see that stuff right here. You know what I mean? You gotta pay. You gotta go to Manhattan. We in Brooklyn. Just turn around. It's all on the walls. You know what I mean? So I might just check off for a second because I'm gonna stealthily get out of this spot. Hopefully ain't nobody pulling up. We'll see what happens. Peace. Alright, I got out of there. It's good because I think I think this homeless dude stopped to take a doo-doo. But we made it. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna show you how to walk back. Actually, not that far. That's why I know about this spot. A bit of a rough area, but whatever. Do what we gotta do. Like a month, month or two back, 15 year old kid got shot in the head in a basketball court out here, man. Sad, sad, sad situation. It's going to cause fires in the Amish school. Saying so, even 
know. I feel like I'm good, you know, so I gotta keep my eyes open. Don't be stupid, you know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? Made it out. Over here in Brooklyn. So I encourage you guys to go out into whatever neighborhood you at. Cause I just had a good old time, like an adventure. Um, Y'all be good. Peace, prosperity, health, happiness, soul, and peace. It's uh it's early morning here. I'm back in uh Brownsville. I'm near an area where I shot a couple of vids before, but we a little further down. And this is a car garage that I pass by all the time over here that's covered and tagged up with a lot of nice burners and stuff. So um, I'm going to take a little walk around this area, catch some pieces and show them off to you. We right by, I guess that's a scrapyard. Pieces, a couple little thorbs back that way. You know, crazy. We catch some freights on the other side. Let's see what's good. It's real busy, real active down this way. Real industrial. Um, last time I came through here with my homie, a little further down, and I wanted to walk to this piece, but I saw that. Uh, there was some some workers, some utility workers and whatnot. So I didn't want to get caught up with that nonsense. But we'll see what we could get over here. Man, WSO. I guess that's a the crew. They're getting up a lot because from the other freight yard, Mega, be tagging that up a lot. further oh, there's a little spot to get in right here it's kind of dirty though I don't know if I feel like squeezing through that not with my gear today <laughs> I got somewhere to be so we're gonna have to let that one go. Oh, it's not much else going down that way. But this little overpass they got here got some stuff. Let me check it out real quick. Crap. It's another spot to squeeze through here. People be really working hard to get into these places, man. Let's see. A couple of old school bubble letters there. Let's see if I go a little further down. All right. Not too crazy. All right.
was crazy. Only reason I came down here to get a view. Man, that's a big drop. All right, this is what we're gonna do. Plan ourselves down. We're gonna zoom in. I'll be suffering for y'all. What's that though? Let's do it. Let's see if we can brighten that up a bit. Nice. All right, I'm sure there's more on this side, but that's as much risk as I'm willing to take today. Got a good view of everything. Time for me to get up out of here. That was not pleasant. Look at my pants. Hold up. Look at my pants though. It is what it is. I might have to change. I might have to go to the store and buy some. Let's see. That was not fun. All right. All right. It's long. Yeah, it's looking like it's looking like homie puts up sort of the same some style each time. That's a little crazy, we ain't messing with that. This is just a straight drop into the abyss right there. Right. I'm in a rough spot here, man. There's much else going down this way, but we're gonna check. Let's see what's good here. Oh, 
cool. It's kind of regular. It's all right, though. Stick to the original mission. We can go check out this, this garage they got over here. Oh, we took a dip there. All right, so this spot right here is like broad day. Pretty sure these are legal walls. Unfortunately, there's a lot of cars stacked up. So I might not be able to get the full pieces, but I'll give you what I can. Definitely looks like these folks had some legal pieces. So check that out, that's dope. Got the front of the L. There's the L train right, right, running right over here. So that's J. Not sure that's supposed to be I, I believe. CK. Or is that an A? Is it Jack? Check that out. Dope. So you see that they did like the advertiser sign at the top. The graffiti letters too. That's cool. They got like an abstract piece here. It's a little harder to see. This is definitely abstract. I'm not even sure these are letters, but they probably are. It's just I can't read them. So it's a little harder to catch because of the car there. Let's see if I do that. All right, let's go around the corner. See what they got. real early in the morning so maybe they, this uh spot that it gets so active they don't have all the cars that's usually in front of here i swing by at night this whole street here is like completely covered so bam that remind me of that transformer the high ride one in the old transformers cartoon movie rodimus rodimus prime what was he he was hot rod before that i think so, East New York. Sometimes I don't know if this area is East New York or Brownsville, because I've heard different things. But, man, they went over a piece there. You can see that there was the car, and then, like, whatever was under there was covered up. Let's keep looking. Unfortunately, these cars are blocking this piece here. So, it's hard for me to get that. I think I can get that one on the end, though. Let me see what this is. S T A E T. That's dope. What's going on, man? No, I'm just taking pictures of the graffiti that's here. Yeah, well, actually, in the back, push the car back a little. All right. These are interesting. I've never seen a style like this before. Uh, how hard this is to pull off on a um, little bridge metal. They got a nice character there. Kind of old school feel to it. The question is, what does this say? For any of y'all that watches this video, if you could pick out what this joint say, 
let me know. I seen that around. I definitely seen that joint. I don't know whose tag that is. That's kind of dope. All these damn cars in the way. Let's see if I can kind of get it on an angle. All right. Little song. Oh, no wonder. No wonder. Subs. All right. I told you, man. I'm going to tell you right now. I'm going to get up on it in one second, all right? I told you this dude right here. Mears. He got the hookup on all the legal walls. <laughs> I don't know how he does it. But this guy... Always has these places tricked out with all these pieces. Boom. Mirrors one. I forgot which episode it was. I don't know if it was number four. But I was out in Bushwick. We had that. No, it was episode number six. We had all those crazy pieces. Um, in a similar type of place. It's like a trucking place. And it was just pieces upon pieces upon pieces. And it was Mears. Mears had that whole spot um, locked down, which is different joints. But again, 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 this is a testament to how it is when you got access to legal walls, you know what I mean? I wish I could really get this piece, but it's all right, man. I'll take it for what it is, because usually I can't get none of these. Usually I can't get none of them. So that's all good. Peace, brother. What's your name? Hello. Miguel. How, you, How you doing? Good to meet you, man. You, you, you built this or you just got it? I got it from California. I put a lot of stuff on it. That is what's up, man. That's beautiful. Right here with the horns. Uh huh. I had a set of horns right here. What broke off, so I can go to the back like a muffler. I got you. They even got like the spinners on it. <laughs> that is what's up, man. Beautiful. I, I tried to build one myself with an old Schwinn, but it wasn't nowhere near as nice as this. That's what's up, man. You mind I, I, getting it? I got on the parts, though. I got, I got a spring, I got a whole, I got the whole bike, all these parts. Oh, right, you like ordered them and stuff? Huh? You ordered them? No, it's in my closet. Wow, that's crazy, man. You your van? Huh? You your van? Yeah, yeah. All right, give me an address now. You come pick it up any time. I'll give it to you. Oh, I appreciate that, man. Thank you. It's grown. Yeah. You you mind taking a picture next to it? Huh? You mind getting in the picture? That's you want it. No, I mean for you. But I, I, I want to show the... I see you rocking the checkers on Awesome, man. I got the flick. Oh, well, man, I appreciate that. Anytime, you have baby. a good day. Yeah. Be blessed. I'm going to work right now. All right, man. You have a, a blessed day. Anytime, bro. It's at 5 o'clock. After 5 o'clock. All right. So, yeah, man. That's uh, that's the video for today, I believe. <laughs> you never know. I might stumble onto something. But um, I always pass by the spot. I was hoping there'd be a more opportune moment where the cars wasn't blocking the pieces but i think i got most of them just one was kind of covered up so i hope y'all enjoyed that and i'll holler at you later hope everything is cool hope everything is positive hope you're doing something good for yourself today peace east new york that's dope oh, classic in the, in the, in the, the deadline freight trains here fence was open you understand Got to walk straight in. Nothing crazy. Video. Let me get this side. Oh. Dope. Classic. Look at all that. Got some age and wear and tear on it. Classicness. Get down this way for the tunnels. I think since the last time I've been here, they had a new piece that it looked like somebody came down and painted. 
Big on the side. How you feeling, man? Feels great, man. Yeah. Just a little adventure. And, and look at this guy. It's raining. It's fucking misty out here. And perfect setting. Look at some meat mops. I know homie curve. Style, when yeah. it's like elongated, yeah, when it's really clear and straight, they call it like straight leather. Uh, if it looks like it would, if it was painted on with like yeah, a roller, curvy like this, this is all wild style, curvy. it's all wild style. But, but there's a difference though, this is curved, you're right, but this one is a lot more angled, but it's elongated and it's like stuff. I mean, uh, to my thing. knowledge, there is the, they both fall, fall under the category of wild style. Yeah. Um, you got straight. straight letter or a little more clear. Then you got bubble letters, which are like the throw up, so you, you know, you look like they did quick and filled in fast, right? And then you got uh, rollers, which it looks like somebody came down with a roller. Like these big pieces over here, those are rollers. And then you just got a tag, which is the script thing. Somebody's tag. See, that's a that's a throw up. A bubble lettuce. You know what I mean? That, but that starts falling into the category of street art versus, that's let's say, traditionally graffiti. The, you could call it graffiti because brief, depending on what definition you follow graffiti, it could be just like the street vandalism, like painting on somebody's thing. You know what I mean? Or it could be, uh, you know, anything that you paint on the walls. It, it, everybody's kind of got a different definition. I follow more of the classic definition of graffiti. Yeah. You got your gloves? All right, come on. Look at this. I'm taking you to one of the gyms here. <laughs> They got a little ladder thing down there too. So I don't know which one you feel like. You want to check that? Damn, I feel like it's real rain is coming. Is that a stick or is that a ladder? Is the light on? Yes, it is. All right. So, look at this. This is like a, a mecca here, bro. <laughs> you hear that? 
It's the, it's another pen. <laughs> that's, the, that's the other thought I had. The light is on, it's still not getting everything. This goes all the way to the end. There ain't nothing over there, really. so we don't need to go that deep. <laughs> I will stop here. I will be okay with it. Is the light on? Yeah, it is. See, they were using the straight tunnel light too. Yeah, sure. They were working by the tunnel light. You see dark days? Yes. It's kind of places that dudes would live. Yeah. Uh, oh, how about me? Mm -hmm. Let's have it a little adjust. Just the brightness of this. Code. All right, we'll pause this for a second thing. Unique. Too, whatever. This one I'm gonna be all right. The detail on these. Desk. Yo, you know this is gonna be one of the episodes, right? Because <laughs> I did not get inside these tunnels like that. I'm feeling a little extra confident now. That I, I would too. I, 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 I'm telling you, you don't. Look at they paint up here. Enough credit, man. Because either I'm gotten old, like this is not the same. That's a super shit. So we back to this spot with this stuff. Yeah, let me get a shot of you over there. This is, I already had a whole photo shoot this. I'm gonna worry about that. You know what I mean? But standing over there close, like two two rectangles before the um work smarter. Oh, this shit dropped too. <laughs> work smarter than I hard to be. And then just climb over, right? It's more stable on this side? Yes, definitely. I am not doing that. <laughs> That's a felony. Mm. Oh, good. And it's raining, raining, son. All right, I'm jogging a little bit. Tagged up all this. Huh? So we saw this. We saw this time going to be This is fresh. This is new. This is not here the last time I came in. That. Yes. I got that one in the other video. Yeah, bro. <laughs> this one I didn't go too deep into last time either. We're gonna check it out. The train comb is gonna hop right in there. <laughs> Huh? What? 
the opening. Okay. Facing this way. So we'll do that. Let me take a let picture. Me, let me get this on the wall. And then we'll... But like from back here. Right. I got symmetrically. You. Yeah, no, it's perfect. Yes. It frames everything. Yes. That'll be the um the cover page for the uh yeah. for the episode. Yeah, that's I mean the thumb the thumbnail. Yeah. Let me see this. I don't know why is this one stood out. It's not very detailed. It's just Yeah, some dudes get bugged out with some of these Yeah, that's what's... Looks like some people going out there and people going in. It's wild. I mean, it's not necessarily anything. If somebody came down here and snuck into this spot... To do that. that was good. This was here last time, but that one was not. Alright, let's pause this for a second. Like, come on, man. Yeah, that's bro. crazy. Man, I did yeah, I appreciate oh, that, homie. Yeah. <laughs> because it looked almost like a silhouette. So yeah. You, see, I was like, so you gotta play up the silhouette. Yeah. yeah. So we got this here. Now some of these pieces I caught on the other that's dope. I got videos. We gonna, yeah, I saw this one. Yeah, I got I got some company, so we're gonna dig a little deeper today. There's not even any tracks here. You want to take a picture next to it or something? Now the cool thing is, with some of these things, sometimes they put the year. Yeah, this is bugged out looking. I definitely did not get this in the last video. 16, 2016, okay. I went, the, the, the one I went to the other day had joints from like 99, 98, 96. Like, what was my question? So this is like the maintenance tunnel, it's not? It's no, it isn't. These are tracks. This is just dirt that's been yeah, on top. These dirt. tracks are not being used. But definitely not being used. But there's tracks here. Yeah. So, somebody told me that these are all connected. Bro, this is, <laughs> this is the kind of shit that horror movies are made of. These, these are probably as old as the city. This is a freight line where they would bring things from one area of the city to another. Seven down here, whoever wrote that. This I definitely had in the old video. I'm not sure if this piece was in the old video. I, looked, I think they went over whatever was here originally that I caught last time. Super. That's what that says. Bugged out, right? People will come down here because they got time. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah, if you get in here unnoticed, then you're good. Yeah, 
Yeah, man. Do your thing. Let's see if adjusting the camera again in the brightness will let me get a little more of what's back here. Because I need it. There we go. Now we can see. So there's this. Yeah, I feel like at some point I'm just gonna step on a piece of homeless dude. I feel like at some point I'm just gonna step on a piece of homeless dude. Alright. So what I'm gonna do is turn this brightness all the way up. There we go. Now that light is kicking. Happy New Year 2015. That's part of the in, the interesting thing with these is that you can kind of look at them and then like kind of date track and see who was here and all that kind of stuff. You know what I mean? The only thing that would trip me out because I was talking to the, when I went to Philly and I was talking to that realtor she said she would go into like some of these buildings where like squatters were, and they would set up. The, the, the realtor from Philly, because I went to Philly like a week ago. Yeah. <laughs> no, I said that um, I went to Philly like a week ago. And the lady was talking about how, like, in some of the buildings that were in real bad shape, they had squatters. And some of them would set booby traps. Oh, wow. And so she said she saw a video where, like, there was a knife that was rigged that when somebody would open the door, it would swing down and stab the dude in the head. <laughs> strings? You seen strings? Be right with you. This is getting deeper and deeper, and I'm not sure I want to go this far. Hold on, I'm just trying to adjust the lighting. Get you one second. All right, this light's not working anymore this deep. Yo, y'all, listen to use your light. You know what that string is? No. That's a line for somebody to follow to get out in the dark or something. All right. How much further you want to go? Um, I, I pass my Give me the first Yeah, put the light up, up here. Right. I got you. Yeah. You're going to get this. I ain't never coming back. <laughs> I need an assistant. And this just keeps going. I think it stops here. Here where it looks like it's a lot more. The land. Wait, land of the gangways. Oh, here, what's this? Oh, that's up on the tracks. We good, we good. Oh, this is not a line. No, so we're gonna stop there and we're gonna come back on this side. Huh? I'm only here to make this. 
<laughs> that's it, right? Like, why are you going to go through all the trouble deep. if that's all you're going to make? <laughs> That's bugged out. That's, oh, that's definitely something horror movies are made of. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Let's move away from Candy Man. <laughs> this is... I'm, I'm breathing in here like I'm changing diapers. <laughs> you're like, like you're kids, you understand. Yeah. Right? I mean, <laughs> exactly. It's all to the mouth. <laughs> First time reactions, how's this been for you, man? Coming into these tunnels, you know what I'm saying? And it feels like we're in a place that only a few people have seen, which makes it a lot cooler. Yeah, but there's some good pieces. This is a good piece right here. This is cool to see, right? Yeah, definitely. Very nostalgic New York, yeah. old school, old, you know what I mean? Um, retired train tunnels. We have some good pieces where people can sit down and take the time to make a quality piece of art, you know? Word. I'm very impressed. So many pieces in here. Makes you want to go in here and make a piece. <laughs> Cover all of this. I already got that and other stuff. So we just walk out. I don't think we're going to hop this. Go down. We'll be good, right? All right. So, all right. So my homie came up. You know what I'm saying? Had to bring him to this special place. But we're going to say peace. We're signing off because you already peace. seen all this other stuff in the videos. Hope y'all doing good, having a good time, having a blessed day, healthy and happy. Till the next time. Peace, King. Peace. <laughs> All right, what's going on, y'all? Um, I stopped at the Gateway Mall, Gateway Center in East New York. Uh, I stopped to get a pizza. They sell gluten-free pizza over here. Um, <clears throat> but I was walking along this little park they got on the side here, trying to loosen up a little bit. And I noticed when I was walking around, there's a, a, a creek with, you know, some sort of like marsh of plant life and stuff around. But they got like a little opening entrance there that goes on a little path down to the Belt Parkway. Uh, so I'm going to explore this a little bit and see if um, I can find... A graffiti spot looks like the kind of place that they would have a graffiti because this leads to an underpass from the highway so come along with me check it out so there goes the open fence that's the park back that way i'm gonna walk through here they got some sort of mesh on the soil here you know i could easily go that way check out that waterway down that way um but this is a very defined path Looks like at least somewhere. So let's check it out, see what's what. So again, this is not hard to walk because it's so clearly defined. Now you know people is hanging out down here. Got a straight up bottle of OE. I'm sorry, a can of OE. People probably coming down here and burning and stuff. We got bags of chips. I wouldn't be surprised somebody lived down here. Check out what's what's through this. It's like a little path too. It's definitely like blankets and whatnot. So somebody's spending some significant time down here. Can't have nothing in New York City, man, because people will be trashing it. Look at all this garbage here. Sneakers and whatnot. People living here for real. See? They try to make a nice little park over here. You know what I'm saying? Has some sort of like protected space for nature. Mad garbage. So this is what I'm finding so far. See that water behind me? So the marsh area. This is like a drain pipe or something where the water's coming from. It's on the other side of the Belt Parkway that way. 
uh, is the ocean. So uh, they got some waterways on this side that connect to it. So let's keep exploring, see what else we find around this way. Let's see some more paraphernalia here. <laughs> mad beer bottles somebody was definitely thinking about their life while looking at the water look at the wine jug man so it's like a little beach area i would definitely not swim in this water that's definitely not something i would do <laughs> but it's cool still smells like the ocean you know what i'm saying Still get a little view. It's cool to check out. So let's see if they got anything significant under this overpass here. Let's see what the deal is. We got this like segment the pipe somebody tagged up inside. Nothing serious. E N Y, East New York. That's where we at. All right, so we got, got some tags. I don't really see you no know, little wild style pieces or nothing like that. That's cool. Oh, little song. A lot of people got like cookouts and stuff here. Why? They tagged up these little holes and stuff. Ain't nothing serious. So it doesn't look like anybody came down here with no serious amount of time to do no pieces. But it's still cool to check out. I'm definitely going to have to be stealthily getting out of here because I don't want to be caught up in some place with somebody living. It definitely look like some people spend a significant amount of time over here. This is cool. Anything up this way? Oh, that's a gate. And I wonder because I see some more pieces across the way over there. I wonder if there's a way to get to that. It's a cool little spot. Ain't nothing serious. Burnt out car. Look at that. This goes out to the ocean. What's good, people? Uh, so it's two days later, and I'm trying to get to the other side, that underpass where the waterway was, where the creek was. I wasn't able to make it the other time, but I kind of pulled off on the highway right now. Hopefully they won't tow my car. And I'm trying to get over the overpass, get to the other side, see if there's any more significant pieces there. So, I haven't checked it out already. All I saw was what I saw across the water that time. So we'll see what's good. Right now, I'm walking along the highway. It's a nicer day today. So you see, I don't have my hoodie on. You know what I'm saying? I got my clothing on. Now you can't NYC, which uh, y'all could get at now you can NYC.com. <laughs> uh, all right, let's take this journey with me. Overpass, taco. So there was that piece that's coming down. So this little wall here, it's got little tags. Not serious. The view of the 
water. I want to see what's on that side there. As you can see, it's like a bike path or something. So there's an opening here in the overpass. Looks like a lot of people been here. Let's go down to the water. I'm gonna be in and out. So let's see what's happening. Oh, they plugged that up. Looks like it was open. And they decided to close it. So it's all closed up. That's closed up. That's closed. All right. There's a gap under there. I might be able to slide under. Let me see. Nope. I'm too big for that. down to the water. Let's see what's all under there. Alright, I'm gonna try to get around this. Alright, so I just got around that fence. Had to call around that water there. Let's check a look, see if there's anything significant. This is kind of crummy over here. We got one nice piece. Check that out. Dope. That's dope right there. Looks like these pieces are really old and worn. Cool. Check all that out. Serious, got a little sum. That's dope. That piece right there. All right, y'all. So let me get out of here because I definitely should not be here. Um, I might take you on the journey of me getting around this fence. Let's see what's good. I got what I needed. I do not see an opening here. Solid grip. Ooh, man. Get up out of here. some raindrops coming down all right success so i'm gonna chop this up slice it up with the um uh, the other video that i had from the other day it's the same spot just the other side across the water so you guys can see the um the two sides i gotta get back on this highway hopefully they didn't tow my car it's it kind of pulled off on the shoulder over here to do that <laughs> yeah man so sorry there wasn't more wild style pieces and all that but it was still cool mini adventure definitely shorter than some of the other ones but um hope all y'all are doing good having a peaceful day or having a fun day you know what i'm saying over here is sunny first uh peek into spring so i'm enjoying it getting out you guys be good, and I'll holla at you with the next video. Peace.
Damn, bro. They tagged up the church. Ain't nothing sacred. Literally. They tagged the side of the church, man. Dirty. What's going on, y'all? So we in Queens right now, although it's kind of on the dividing line of Queens. This is Woodhaven uh, up by Jamaica Ave. And uh, it's probably my first installment of a Queens spot. Um, but there's some cool pieces I noticed around here. Just gonna take you on a little tour of a couple of blocks span of this area of uh, Jamaica Ave and Woodhaven. Check it out. So we got a couple of little throw ups and pieces on this side. Ain't nothing serious. Um, I already teased y'all with the other joint. We're gonna get to that in a second. Be right by a school here. I don't know what high school this is. Couple of bubble letters or whatever. Let's get across the street to that piece. Boom. So, got all that. And it suffers. The mooch. Love the color combination here. It's really big, really loose. These guys make something really trippy. Ghosts, such. Details. This dude painted lines around the actual bricks. So that's kind of crazy there. Dope. Oh. Some dude back here. <laughs> Some regular bubble letters. Let's keep searching around the area. These dudes having a football game. <laughs> That's what's up. Man, this, this truck is kind of blocking this piece over here. So we had like a deli and a gas station. This is a dope mural. It's kind of a mixture of just like a mural plus a graffiti. So, check that out. We gonna get up on it. I'm gonna try to get around these trucks just to get pictures of it. So you got that right there. That's pretty dope. See, wow. Where he can. Somebody kind of tagged over this piece. We got the eagle. And then we got like the native theme here. It's pretty dope. I feel like I see some tattoos with this face before. Let's get around that. Bam. Pretty dope. Somebody crossed this dude's joint up. Side streets to see what's what. There's a gang of pieces up on the rooftops here. I probably won't be really be able to get a good view of them, but I'll try my best. Bunch of bubble letters, like a real cluster over here. If you rotate around, you see more stuff.
feel like I seen some of these pieces around. All right, so we already got a bunch. We just starting out, so let me cross from the train station to see if I see some on the other side. All right. here gang of times they had this board up here for a minute so you can see some people don't tagged it up some bubble letters nothing crazy you know what I mean but well, looks like somebody was trying to do a piece <laughs> so let me check that out hold on so we got Chitara and Lino that's kind of crazy <laughs> That's dope. Satara and Lionel. Let me see if I back out from this. Can't really get a good good angle. You can see the detail. Sin City, right? That was one of the scenes from Sin City. It's kind of dope. This definitely looks like a martial arts school. Imperial Dragon Karate Dojo. So that's not exactly graffiti, but whatever. We throw it in there too. That looks cool. It's kind of bugged out looking here. Just bubble letters, ain't nothing serious, but still a little sum. So this is part of the cemetery. It's the structure here. I don't know if it's the entrance or whatnot. It's all tagged up. It's tagged up there too. All right, so let's keep this moving. Let's cross the street. So I see a dope cluster here. I see, I see that, uh, that TC5 tag on it. So we're going to take a look at that. Bam, this whole thing go down. All right, before I get to that, we'll look at sort of like the cluster of bubble letters on the side. All right. So this is just all tagged up here. Again, nothing too involved. Turn the corner. Bam. Regress. It's got an old school feel to it. G spot. When re pursue. Envy key. Jays. Jays I definitely seen around. Check that out. You got some TC5 crew members. Look at that. Love the character too. First class. Bam. This look like it has some pieces on it, but I don't went over it a gang of times. Man, I hate it when they just do a throw up over like these more involved pieces. Well, it's a different mentality, man. He's just trying to get up. I right, check that out. Bam. Dope, dope, dope. Looks like these dudes had a piece up there, too, but the gate is up, so I can't get that right now. That's all right. You see this whole wall. Let's fly. All right, so I found some pretty dope pieces so far. Oh, I forgot to get that one up there. This is that piece also. And that joint, right there say Papo. That's my uncle's name. <laughs> That's an old school Puerto Rican name. All right, so let's keep searching and see if there's anything else we come across. All right, peace. All right, besides graffiti, one of the other things that I'm an aficionado of is old school cars. 
And I see this joint over here. I'm gonna actually stop to check it out real quick. Check that out. Nice piece. What is that? Sweet. Is that a Mustang? Let's check that out. Beautiful. Cherry red. All right, so let's keep moving down this way. See a couple more structures. Oh man, I'm too late. They had a wall down here that was covered with all kinds of joints. And uh, it's all covered up now. That sucks, because I was here about a week or two ago not even maybe a month ago and this whole thing was covered up with pieces and they just they buffed it they buffed it it's done it's a wrap oh man i'm way late on that i'll, I'll search around to see if there's any remnants left but it looks like yeah they took everything off of that see you can see the markings of the paint still that used to be covered right there they went over it with gray or they scrubbed it out. Not sure which one. All right. Well, looks like there's some survivors over here. Let's just check it out. Let's see what's the deal. Cause I'm definitely spotting something dope. Whoop, whoop. Look at that. Yeah. Oh, all right. This is the mooch. It's like that other real colorful piece that was on the other spot. All right. Real bright. That's real, real bright. Jamaica and Autumn. So I think we definitely on the, the Brooklyn side of things here. Flowmaster underscore MOP. And such as S U C H S underscore life. Dope. Let's keep exploring. Alright, so I kept walking along the cemetery. They filming something. They got something set up. They probably doing like a TV show or something over here. Now what I have here is that the L, the J train turns on this block. So usually if you follow the train lines, you'll see a lot of uh, pieces along the walls and stuff, so I'm gonna keep checking it out. Got an old school feel back there. Let's check that out. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, we need to get we need to get in there and check that out. Uh, maybe not, but I can zoom in. There's a gang of pieces here. Check that out. I want to get up there too, though. I wonder if there's a back way through this. We'll check it out. Even that wall got a bunch of stuff. Let's see what's up. Dope. Let's keep checking around, see if I, I stumble across a way to get in. That's crazy. <laughs> That's disgusting, actually. Whatever. So it's like this whole little abandoned thing. They're doing something with this. Some 
who got up there. Can't get no good pictures though. There's people out here looking. No way in. Nope. Pieces in there. They tagged all that up. It's all tagged up. Alright, all right, so this is why it's worth searching around a little bit. Because ain't no thing, because check it out. It's an opening right here. So. We got in. How did we get these rundown cars in here? I don't know. Check that out. We're gonna be in and out. This is broad day. Check that out. There. My battery dying too. Should have had a full charge on this. I wish. I'll be taking my sweet time, but, you know, we get what we can. I wish I'd get up there, but that's all barbed wire. Let's see if I get a better view. That's not bad. Get a decent view there. All right, so I'm in this little lot here. Let me uh let me get some pictures. Alright. So So, find a nice little spot, check out. Mostly bubble letters and whatnot, but whatever, that's cool. There goes the adventure component of this video. Back in the more residential area over here we're off the strip where the train is at and the stores are at so i doubt we're gonna find much over here um like i said before it was my mistake i actually believe this is on the brooklyn side because woodhaven uh even though the, ma the majority of woodhaven is in queens elder lane is the dividing line sort of between the brooklyn queen side up this way so we actually went from Eldert back towards cypress hill in east new york so i kept on saying queens 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 but this is actually i think brooklyn so i'm gonna have to correct myself on uh on titling the video hope you guys enjoyed the pieces you know what i'm saying and uh i'll catch y'all on the next one Maybe we will get a Queens one next time. Peace. All right, so before I go, I think I want to give this dude that has this car that's really hooked up on the street every time I pass by. So I want to get some footage of that. I think that's it right there. Or well, this too. I think they got a garage to be working on these joints. Check that out. Dope. That's a caddy too. Got the Cadillac symbol right there. Bam. Big old rims. Dope. Pristine condition, too. Now, the question is, what model Caddy is that? That should look fly. 
That joint look fly. Dope. Let's check it out. This car is kind of blocking it. We'll see if I can ask him to back up. This dude got the wire rims. I don't know what kind of joint says that. That's just crazy looking. Look at that. Dope. Let me get around the other side. Probably a little scratched up on the side, but there ain't nothing. What model car is this? Dope. What's the make on this car? Oh, it's a Cutlass Supreme. That's fly. All right, y'all. It's the morning time and it's cold out here. Uh, I decided to stop by this area called City Line, which is on the border of Brooklyn. In Queens, we're on the Brooklyn side though. Uh, it's really windy out here, so hopefully that doesn't mess up the audio. Um, but there's a couple of walls, nothing in a hidden off way. It's kind of on the sides of some of the storefronts here. So I'm gonna um, take some footage so you guys could check out this area too. Crazy thing about over here is that if you go off onto the side streets, these dudes don't even care. They tagging people's houses, which I do not condone. As I am a home owner in this somewhat proximity. But uh, on this street, there's nothing really crazy. There's a couple of throw ups on the walls over here, but I figure I'll show you the contrast to that. So you got some of these. But there's definitely some more complete pieces and wild style pieces on the other walls. So I'm going to take you on a tour through all that. So again, we're in the city line area of Brooklyn. We got some throw ups. I recognize some of these pieces. These are pretty big. I don't know how these dudes got these up without being noticed. If you come to this area on the weekend, mad busy. Check this wall out. This is that Gundam wing. All right, boom! Look at that. Real crazy. Now these pieces over here look pretty unique compared to some of the ones I've seen in some other places. I know the color. The color scheme, I don't know if I've ever actually seen these kind of combinations before. This is a pretty dope wall. This is one of many over here, so keep the tour up. Nice. So we got an old school feel to it. Super East New York, E-N-Y. <laughs> yeah, I believe that this um, area, city line, is part of East New York or Cypress Hills, or both. <laughs> Yo, even this box is straight tagged up here. Looks like a lot of riders come to this area. Look, yo, even the inside of this thing. Look at this. The inside of the meter they tore up. Crazy. They didn't leave no piece of this undone. Alright, so now we got another door wall over here. Check this out.
I'm going to have to back up on this. This one is bigger. Check that out. Ooh, man. My hands are straight cold. mural Bottle of Henny. Yeah, what? That's wild. <laughs> On the side, how's the bull egg out here? All the um, the walls that I've shown you are off the main strip over here in City Line which is Liberty Avenue. So you ain't gotta do nothing crazy to see these pieces. Just park on the side, pay the meter or whatever, and then walk around and check it out. So I kind of cut off the main strip here, walked down a little bit, and I noticed that there was uh, train tracks here. This is where the A train comes through. Um, and this wall's all tagged up, but not with any really big pieces or anything. But somehow I have a feeling that I might find something decent here if I dig a little bit. So I'm going to check it out. I just climbed up over this wall over here so you guys can get a view of all those pieces. But I gotta figure out a way to get down. All right, so I peeked over and there's a bunch of dope pieces here. So I'm gonna zoom in. Hopefully this phone don't cut off before this thing dies. Nice. Pretty sure there's some on this side too. Let's see if I cut across and maybe catch that. Man, somebody spray right on the transit seal. Crazy. A lot brighter from this side. I just have to go through a lot of headaches to get this. Dope. Dope, 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 dope. So we on the other side of the tracks. It's the entrance from the train going underground. Man. They even tagging up just the regular old fences in the neighborhood here. It's crazy. Then that's that flash piece. It's the short form. All right, so I just drove just past the city line area just a little bit deeper into East New York, but I found like a dope legal wall. Uh, so I'm gonna include that in today's video. Check these out. So you could tell, again, it's a legal wall. Dude got his Instagram on here. Apparently somebody was not happy 
about someone painted the pieces on here so they went over a piece boom let's look up there truck and bus so apparently this is a company and they know somebody or paid somebody or whatever to let them do pieces here it's cool and there's a little bit more around the corner let's check it out another piece here it's a truck so that's dope all right so as you can see a lot of dope walls over here um you can come check these out right off the main strip which is liberty avenue over here in city line on the border of ozone park in east new york um you don't have to do anything crazy to check these out so far i found couple little pieces and two really solid walls uh, if I find any more I'll include them in the video uh, and I'll show all the pictures that I took on my Instagram which you could check out is at Migs Tats on Instagram um, I appreciate you guys tuning in and I hope you have a good day peace and blessings peace All right, so we out here uh, on Underdunk Metropolitan. I think this is the border of Ridgewood and Bushwick. Um, I spotted a spot up that way when I was driving by one time, and I want to explore it a little more. So we outside, and it is brick. <laughs> it is 100% brick city out here, man. It is cold, but... Uh, the explorations don't stop. <laughs> so you're gonna take this walk with me and see what this is looking like. Cool little water scene here. Lord knows that is all probably crazy polluted. <laughs> Let's see what these walls are looking like. I think these walls are legal, actually. Bam. Hold on, let me step back for a second. So y'all can see what I'm looking at. Dope. Dope, dope, dope. Let's keep checking it out. Got some cool details. Now these are wood panels. Yeah, these are like temp walls put up, wood panels. This is fly. That's definitely fly. Orchestrating the madness, NYC, I like that. 2017, so this has been up for a while. I'm gonna come back and take some pictures. Very cool. I think there was another panel on the gate, but they got that open because they're doing work right now. Dope. This is on the side of like some kind of trucking thing they got going on. really industrial around here. Check that out. That's how you know it's a legal wall because they got the Instagram at on there. <laughs> Keep checking this out. Go straight on. Fly pieces. 
Oh, that's mirrors. All right, so this is something I wanted to say because homie, homie used to run the uh, the five points, which was like the mecca for graffiti in Long Island City, and then they had that whole debacle with the owner tearing it down or, or wanting to change it to condos. But you know, when I was living in Greenpoint, there was another building not far on the Greenpoint side that was also similar to Five Points, not quite as big. I think Mears have run that too. So, so he seems to really have uh, connections on where to get the legal walls done. This just keeps going on and on. Look at this. Oh, so we traveled all that. Let's keep checking it out. Fly. Yo, my hands are freezing, bro. <laughs> Dope. We're going to go all the way to the end of the wall. Thought there was another spot around here, too. Because I had seen the reason why I had known that this was Mir's spot. I hope I'm saying it right. I used to say Merez, and then I heard somebody else say Mears. I met the dude one time, because I shot a, a music video uh, at the Five Points, which I never edited. I never got the footage edited properly. So maybe one day I'll still put that out. But um, I think it was an art show he had a piece up at, and somebody had said Mears, so I just started saying it that way. Hope I'm saying it correctly. But shout out to him, man. Shout out to him for keeping the five points going and even having the uh, vision to create a place like that. I used to go there and hang out on the roof. Oh, man, this is fly. This is a big piece, man. It's a big, big piece. I used to hang out on the roof of uh, the five points, the little Spanish restaurant around there. I used to buy food and then climb up. It was crazy because they used to have this like little rusty ladder on the side. And um, like one day after I had hung out there, I heard that an Asian lady that worked in the factory or something went up those steps and the whole thing collapsed. And so they stopped letting people go in the building or going up that way. Oh, wow. They got more stuff over here. Yo. So they got the five up for the five points. That was the same thing they used to have at the five points before that, that same symbol. I'm feeling it. Dope. Dope, dope, dope. I'm gonna try to cut in here and get some get some footage. Let's see if these guys let me. Dope. Excuse me. Excuse me, sir. Is it okay if I just step in and take some pictures real quick? No, unfortunately, that's uh, one of the things that they, they really... Uh, they don't allow. Yeah, okay, man. no problem. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I don't know why. Okay, it's cool. Thank you. Appreciate it. Brooklyn Reclaimed. Custom furniture. So I guess I was wrong. I guess we are still on the, uh, the Brooklyn side of things. I'm still get a picture, but I'm just not gonna step in the, in in the yard because I guess they got like insurance things going on. Um, and this was partially why I knew this was connected to the five points of mirrors because I think this is his symbol to own um, the light bulb. So this is the end of this whole patch here. So I'm gonna start. I'm gonna stop for a minute and get some pictures. Alright, so I'm walking past this. This is what all I noticed last time. But they got more here. Boom. They got more up there. And I think I spotted some more as I walked down. So I'm gonna keep looking. Let's see if I cut through here real quick. So we get a better view. Dope. 
All right, let's keep checking it out. Somebody gonna come out and tell me to, to move. So right across the street, you got all those, all those throw-ups. Let's see what, what's down this way. So I'm gonna keep walking because I see some more stuff on the walls over here. But yo, it is cold. Mad cold. Ooh, I brought my gloves too. But then if I put them on, I wouldn't really be able to film all that great. Oh, dope, I can already see it here. Let's check that out. Gotta wait. These trucks will run you over and keep moving and not care too two issues about it man let's see so looks like we're on the bushwick side of this border um so when i title this video it's gonna be for <laughs> for brooklyn i thought i was gonna put it for the first queens one yo i got some more searching to do this is crazy this wall goes on for a while too let's see what's good here that is fly that is fly i kind of i kind of feel the vibes of the old five points coming through here with all these you can tell these people had time to do these walls they go to light bulbs again make art from your heart i like that <laughs> this is fly this is fly i'm gonna walk down the block so we can see some more of this Ooh man my fingertips is burning from the cold, if that makes any sense. If any of y'all have been in some extra, extra coldness before, you know what I'm talking about. Bam, fly. Just keep checking. They got a, a gang of pieces. This is going on for a while. Hold up. This is dope. Dope, dope, dope. Looks like we got a lot of guys coming out with the trucks and stuff here so I'm gonna do my best to stay out their way so they can work without worrying about running me over this is dope Let's see if I back up and catch this now that joint over there looks super mega colorful so oh let me catch that again nice I'm gonna come back and get photos of all these That is fly. I've heard some people say East Williamsburg, but as long as I've known, and I'm not from Brooklyn, so I could be totally wrong. I grew up in Long Island, but as far as I know, East Williamsburg, or what they call East Williamsburg now, was Bushwick. Let's keep checking. <laughs> Yo, this, keep, this goes all the way around. Dope. Dope. Hey, isn't that Top Cat? Something like that? That was that old cartoon character. <laughs> Looks like they got some smaller pieces back this way. Dope. Stay frosty. That's exactly how I'm staying right now because it is cold, cold. Let's keep checking this out. Phone cut off for a second. More pieces, more pieces. My assumption is if I turn the corner here on the back side, if they had something worked out with these guys here, they probably got the back cover too. I love this style, man. That style right there, that's that old school 80s train style. That is dope. Love that. All right. Almost got ran over. Man, I hope y'all appreciate this. I'm out here risking my life to get some footage. Make sure I don't get ran over. Got all these freights. Freight? What do you call them? 
cargo cargo shipping containers. A muse. Dope. Oh man, they they replaced the panel there. Maybe we got hit or something. Look at this. Look at this. MTA bus, trucks, a sanitation vehicle. Yo, every corner here is unfriendly to people. You could, oh man, you could die at any moment out here off of just somebody's bad driving. This is fly. So I'm gonna try to walk down and get this as one big panel. Hell yeah, look at that. Yo man, it's just so much goodness. This is what happens when you get a legal wall, you know what I'm saying? Like, in some of the other videos I showed you, I was uh, in and out of some spots, you know, that you had to do some journeying to get to, and it probably wasn't the most legal of spaces, but you give these artists full reign and time to do something, you know, then it becomes murals, you know what I mean? Then they really get to show off and do something that adds value to the space artistically. Yeah, man. <laughs> this is dope. This just goes all the way around. Dope, 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 dope. Look at that. Fly. So we keep going around. There's a fire department right here. We got a nice piece here. I wanted to get cut off by the camera. Dope. I like the character and the color combination is fly. Let's see what's up around here. I'm gonna come back around and take pictures of all this. Hell yeah. Good that. Bro, this is. You know, some of my other videos, you might see more of me in it just because I'm accounting for the gaps in between pieces. So I might fill up the video with me talking about something. But this has just been one after another, after another, after another. So fly. And it's just this particular yard or building, whatever you want to call it. Because none of the other ones around here got anything on them. Let me see what this looks like coming around the corner. My assumption is there's going to be more on this side too. <laughs> it's crazy. You got the dog and then they got the real beware of the dog sign. Yep. I knew it. More. So guys, I can't tell you how happy this makes me to be here and to see all these pieces up one after another. Because, uh, like I said, I used to hang out at the Five Points. That used to be a beautiful place because all the legal walls and people really had the opportunity to do everything they could to make it look nice. And so I, I feel like that same kind of vibe is, is coming out from this spot right here. So I'm going to continue and show you the rest of the walls, all right? Dope. Just keep checking it out. I have to step around this truck here. Because I'm already liking these pieces that I see. And I haven't even got up on them yet. A lot of sun on this side. So the side we came around, let me get around this to see if I get a better picture. The side we came around. A lot more shadows and stuff. Dope. Over here, it's, it's sun, thank goodness. Because I didn't think my fingers was going to take no more. <laughs> All right. Dope. Homie got mad pieces here. <laughs> Why not? If I could do that, I would do it too. Let's 
check out this Garfield piece right here. Hopefully I don't get my ass ran over. The truck come. Dope. What if they let them paint it here? No, nope, this is just all shipping containers and stuff. So I didn't come along this wall here. Let's see what surprises wait for us around this corner. Like I said, if you look over there, there's nothing. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Got little throw ups or whatever. But now I come over here. This is fly. Art info. Let's check that out. Give these dudes some love. Mears one, five points. Plume. Zamad plus one crime. Damian, Mitchell, Cortez, and Sean. 2018. This is when they did this. Dope. Let's keep checking it out. Man, the colors on this is crazy. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Look at that. Keep going. Love it. I'm about to come back around all this to take some more pictures. Look at that. Ill. Illness. Let's see if I pull out here. Nice. <laughs> I wonder if as a trade-off for letting them rock out with the um the murals and the pieces that they have to kind of paint this up to advertise for the business. Decorama. Hey man, shout out to Decorama if, if that's the deal they struck, man. That's dope. Hey, it's Dragon Ball Z. I don't I'm not a big Dragon Ball Z dude, so I don't know which character that is. That's fly. And Mears is showing off over here, man. <laughs> he got all the pieces. Dragon Ball Z. I don't know the character's name. Vegeta, Goku, something like that. Nice. Dopeness. I am glad I stopped off over here today. Nice. The only other little thing around here I see is there's like a truck place over there. They got like a little piece on it. But honestly, everything is really on this side. Check that out. They got the graffiti chick there. Word, she holding the spray can. <laughs> All right. So that was the uh, the tour today. We're on the corner of Metropolitan and Gardner Avenue. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed looking at the pieces. I tried to capture them as best as I could without rushing through. I'm going to go do another walk around this and take some more pictures try to get these pieces nice and clean shots of them um top of the morning man it's cold out here frosty new york day i uh, hope you guys are doing good have a blessed one peace crazy thing is when i first walked through this whole piece that was behind the building i didn't even realize it uh 
but it's all themed with the Avengers. You got Thor, Ghost Rider, uh, Thanos, Spider-Man, uh, who else is Hulk, Wolverine, crazy. <laughs> What's going on, y'all? This is Migs. Back at it again. Another episode of Graffiti Hunting in NYC. We're in Brooklyn, Coney Island today. We're going to stop at this spot called uh, Coney Art Walls, which was a collaborative project of a bunch of different muralists and graffiti artists that put together some walls over here uh, down by the boardwalk. Um, just checking out, making sure that my park is okay for the car. So I'm going to just show y'all a couple of the little uh landmarks here and then we're gonna go check out the whole gallery of the art walls all right if you get a chance stop by now you can nyc.com pick up some gear you know what i'm saying help support the channel support my artwork too all right let's get it cracking That's a classic face right there. Always goes with Coney Island. It's almost like the logo. I always remember seeing that down here. It's kind of wild. Would make a dope tattoo. Everything is closed down right now. It's a good thing I chose now to come check this out because um, during the regular season, this, this spot would be flooded with people. You know what I mean? So, good to come during the off time so I can get good shots of all these murals and whatnot. Somebody burning out here. Days of school, school murals org. So, got this uh, marine themed mural right here. So that's a big thing they do down here is the um, the mermaid parade. Then you got the boardwalk and all the rides and everything. Let's keep it moving. So we're gonna walk up in there in a second. So I'm pretty sure this was not part of the um, the art walls project. Somebody got their regular tags up, a little throwy, some gang graffiti. <laughs> All right, let's keep moving. Right. Let's 
see y'all's going crazy over there. Coney Art Walls. And May Roberts with Thrive Collective. So Thrive Collective is the same folks that put some of the murals together that you saw in the Bronx episode that I did where I was up in my head. So looks like they might have gotten together with some people here to get these murals going. Pretty dope. Check out some more piece, pieces over here. See what's good. Dope. This is this is real wild. I'm gonna pull up on this just to zoom in so you guys can see a little more of the um, the details. So this is school murals this is Thrive. Um, they got a hand in this too. Those dudes are like the missionaries. This is wild. So it looks almost like a like an acid trip of Coney Island. Bugged out. Let's keep moving. What's wild is, man, I told, I, I was told this neighborhood was kind of like turning around. It used to be rough back in the day, man. When I was pulling up over here, about one corner, dudes was on the lean, looking like they was hitting that heroin. And it was just laid out on the corner, man. It was looking crazy. It's like, definitely looked like this spot still struggling. All right, let's keep moving, check it out. This 100% looks like it was painted by hand. I don't think it was any spray paint in this whatsoever. It's Abrahamic religions. So it looks like they got representatives of different religions. They all reading from different books, different belief systems. I don't see an Instagram tag here, but I see a signature. Like they got this place shut down. Might have to shoot this another day. It's kind of wild looking. Bug. Look at that. Cashini. Now I wonder if this was done with paint oh yeah it looks like it from up close that is wild different details in there bananas somebody was bugging when he saw this hold on I forgot to catch this old Disney piece over here let me get that before I try to work my way into here see this whole thing So almost like a Ron English. Oh, yep. Straight up Ron English. I see the signature already. Knew it. Ron English always got some bugged out pieces in real prominent places. Look at that. That's dope, too. This dude got a crazy, crazy, crazy um, imagination. Get that. All right, let's keep it moving. Let's walk around, see if I can catch something else. I'm in this part of a restaurant or something. We got pizza stand. Let's see what else. Wall burgers and the nets. Coney Island Arcade. Coney Art Walls. In Coney Island, past the present. Let's see if they give any information 
about who was doing this mural. Oh, they, they got this in different languages. All right, this was definitely painted by hand too. You can see the hand strokes. That's dope. So down there is the main train station. The N train, the D train, I think the F train comes here too. This is the main strip, so everything is jumping on the on season. That's wild looking. Dope. This got a crazy amount of detail in it. I feel like I've seen, seen a spot somewhere where somebody had artwork that was like this. I don't see how in Na Nazem. Oh, they got like a little, little thing here that shows who did it. Let's back up on it. Okay, let's keep moving. Yeah, man, this hole looks closed up. Welcome to Coney Art Walls, Greenwood Beach. Thanks, music. Sound like somebody fighting down there. Summertime 2017. This is when they did this project. Crash. BR 163. All right. Right there, you see the theme park. Get all those rides in there. Task crew also. So you recognize the style. Dope. We tagged up this little cargo joint. Dope. Lift monster. Oh, it was buff monster. It's a dude I think they did on. Um, was it the the documentary about Banksy? The buff monster was on it. Or am I totally wrong about that? All right, so we get up on this piece. Dope. Right. Baffy, I think is the name. No, no, Miss Van, Miss Van, my bad. All right, so we got Miss Van. Keep looking. All right, we got one by one of my personal favorites, Mr. C Tunes, right here, boy. Mr. Cartoon. Look at that. Bam. Moving. I think I saw it was on this side. So this is line art. And then you got this right here. Pretty dope. 
don't know who did this piece. Now, I've definitely seen this dude's work. I'm going to say it, but I'm going to take a guess. Is it Deferk? I don't know. Deferk? I don't know if I'm saying that right. D E F E R K? Fly. It's like some abstract calligraphy. And we got this one that I showed you before. Monster follows. A new kind of terror to numb the nerves. It's pretty wild. Bugged out. Now there's something behind this. See what's good with that. Oh, this is just like a regular old wall. They ain't really do much with that. This one I know what they did something with. It's kind of hard for me to get. I can't really back up on it. It looks like they gave this person some 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 room to work with, but nothing crazy about it. Alright, let's back up. Really want to get that nitro piece. So we got this D face. Even these joints look crazy. It looks like a piece of art. Painted those up. Nitro's piece. All right. First time I seen one of his pieces up close. The detail in this shit is crazy. Bananas. Got the calligraphy joints here. Let's see what this wall says. I see the Von Bow joint. Graffiti twenty twenty. That's dope. If the battle chooses you, choose what you battle with. Dope. <laughs> Got the hot dogs and all that. Nice. Sherry the Yacht. It's a bugged out piece. Now, this is one of my all time favorites. Vaughn Bold. I wonder if Mark Bold did this or somebody else just kind of did it as an homage. These are all the artists that contributed. Mark Bold did it. Word up. Salute Mark Bold. It's Pops. The Cheech Wizard. This is interesting. This is real dope. Looks almost like one of those stencil pieces. All right. this that's cool this one is interesting still going with that mermaid theme they trying to keep it straight Coney Island with the sea dragon the sea serpent this is all abstract right here look almost like a Matisse piece Nina, Nina Chan. All right. So then you got Thrill. That's dope. Days did that one too. Okay. Uh, rack. This is for like left rack city. We got all tags in there. It's kind of kind of wild looking. You go up close to it, you'll see that it's got all layered upon layered tags. But 
Those look like plastic tags too. these last two pieces last three pieces and get up out of here so you got the u.s dollar <laughs> that's wild but it's got the last supper with all these prominent political figures let's get up on there Some tables a little hard to get. Now this look wild. This is like a straight etching. I guess this is some sort of sea creature. Wow, this must have taken somebody a long time because for real, this looks like the actual pen and ink joints. Blown up. Who's the artist? Coming soon, 2030. <laughs> That's wild. I don't see the signature nowhere. And you kind of got this psychedelic snake thing going on. Real trippy. All right. I think I got everything here. It's time for me to go. flip side to all of this right we came from over there where they had all that fancy polished stuff you know what i'm saying and then here we got a r.i.p mural only a couple blocks away from the main joint right across the street from the projects unity we must stop the violence memory of steven rodriguez put a lot of names of people here that lost their lives to violence. So I'm just bring you right back to reality, man. Living memory of family and friends. So I would say that that's pretty successful. Got to get a lot of cool footage by a lot of prominent street artists I'm a fan of, plus some graffiti artists and everybody that participated in the murals. Um, hope you guys are doing good. Hope you're healthy and happy. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.